To work on the torso, change the animation length to focus on the timing between frames 640 and 880. Actually, if the layer toolbar is still visible, may as well hide it. Can always recall it later. With the mesh selected, make sure you are in edit envelopes mode. Press L to go to the left view. You've already blocked out the belly area in the last tutorial. You still need to adjust the chest area. Using the lasso tool, select the vertices around the chest bone all the way up and including the collar. This obviously include the arms, hands and fingers that you need to filter out. Press F to switch to the front view. Use the Alt key to deselect the arms. Don't worry about being too thorough around the shoulders. This is an area you'll need to give special attention to later. In fact, even if the selection is a bit off between left and right, that shouldn't be much of a problem. That can be fixed later with skin mirror tools. With the chest vertices selected, select the chest bone, spine 3, and assign it a 100% influence over the selected vertices. Now that the torso vertices are blocked out to follow the closest bones, you can fine-tune the selection. Because you have a perfectly symmetrical model, at least around the belly area, you can select loops easily. Start with the loop on the upper part of the belt. Select two adjoining vertices and press the Shift 2 hotkey you defined earlier. This loop at this time is fully reacting to the spine base, spine 1. It should be slightly affected by the hip bone as well. With the loop selected, select the hip or pelvis bone and press Shift 1 to activate the vertex weight script. As you adjust the upper loop of the belt, you realize that the bottom two loops also need to be adjusted. Here, you can select two close-by vertices and use the Shift-3 hotkey to select the ring of vertices around the waist. All the selected vertices are currently assigned to the hip bone, but they need to slightly react to the spine base as well. Select the spine base, spine 1, and use the script to balance the weight. You only need a slight adjustment, so don't go overboard with this. Go up to the next problem loop, select the hip bone, and weight the vertices until you get something visually acceptable. Keep on going up, loop by loop. Make sure you select the appropriate bone you want to use for weighting the selected vertices. Use the weighting script, again using the Shift-1 hotkey, to make the necessary adjustments. Analyze your solution by scrubbing the animation. Go back and adjust vertices as you see fit. There might be a couple of occurrences where vertices crash into one another. You can see an example around frame 818 in the lower back area. You can adjust individual vertices around that area if you feel you must. Keep in mind that this is a very extreme pose and you may not come to it in normal body behavior. Chances are that the back won't rotate further than is shown at frame 810. Keep on fine-tuning the solution until you are satisfied. Exit Edit Envelopes mode when done, and save your file. In the next movie, you work on the shoulder joints.